Okay, for your research assignment, I'd like you to explore the internet and find two pieces of jewelry that are interesting to you. And here's how I suggest you do it. Just type in jewelry modern art museums to find, um, to kind of weed, weed out um, all the um, things that are out there for sale and try to get to the more um, art related jewelry. So do that search and then click on images and then you can just kind of look through and find something that you think is interesting and I want you to come up with um, at least one um, contemporary piece that means to me from the last 50 years and they can both be from the last 50 years but um, the one that is uh, going to have the more tra uh, traditional piece, traditional materials such as um, uh, gold and silver and platinum can be um, from further back, like hundreds of years back if you would like. Um, but I want one of them to have non-traditional materials such as acrylic, wood, um, fibers, found objects, glass. So two examples, one at least one contemporary from the last 50 years and one also that has traditional and one that's non-traditional materials. A traditional one, gold, silver, platinum, precious stones, diamonds, rubies, sapphires, that kind of thing. But um, you know try to find something that's you know really unique and more on the vein of being a um, sculptural or um, you know like something like the royal diamonds um, you know is is pretty traditional but see if you can find um, something old that is got some um, you know unique sculpture characteristics so um, I want you to find it and you want to make sure you write down the name of the artist um, and get an image of it. I want to see the dimensions. Um, they have to, it has to come from either a museum collection or a gallery, no retail sites. So the dimensions, uh, I want you to list the materials used and something about the process used to create the piece. Um, was it hand formed, hand hammered? Was it cast, a cast piece? Okay, so let's find an example. Um, let's click on that and you um, can kind of look through these different images that are somehow Google says are categorized similarly. Um, let's go back to this one and I decide I want to visit this site. So I go to this site and this does happen to be um, a museum. It's in Istanbul. And this is an exhibit from back in 2010. So we are not going to um, probably see more information that, than what's in this press release, they're calling it. And you can kind of scroll through and maybe you'll see something other than what you originally came for. Lots of interesting looking non-traditional materials, acrylic, this looks like acrylic. Um, and you can read all about the artist. Here's some, uh, looks like it's recycled material, maybe um, tin, um, metal of some kind. Um, this looks like wood or paper. And then here's the image that we came for, and you'll read. You can read about uh, Ted Noten, and um, don't really talk too much about what what the process was. Um, they're just talking about him and his background. So we need to kind of dig further to find out something about this piece. Oops, it looks like that site can't be found. So we need to go 
back maybe and um, highlight his name, copy and paste it into a new um, tab. And here we can find out more about him. Um, let's go to his site.